And now, your first alert five weather. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It is, uh, it's just a stunning day. It's simply beautiful outside. I don't have many words for it. It's 40 degrees, which if you're in the shade, yeah, it's a little chilly out there. But overall, this is a nice change from where we were just a couple Mondays ago. Remember that Arctic blast two Mondays ago? We were like two at this time of day, so this is pretty spectacular. Oh, and hey, Pueblo, it looks like we've got some uh, some of the water flowing back into the river walk. Remember a few weeks ago, or close to a month ago, actually, they drained all the water out because we were doing some repairs on the river walk. They were cleaning it out more than anything. Uh, looks like at least they're starting to fill that back up. So not super deep, but some's there, and eventually we'll get more coming down the waterfall in just a little bit. So something's turning around. We're getting ready for spring. We're 44 degrees in Canyon City. A little bit of snow still in the foothills, but blue sky makes that tough to stick around. So we'll see how long that continues to last. And Trinidad also, I thought this was kind of cool, just a little bit of snow tucked into some of the nooks and forest right up into Fisher's Peak there, but it's 41 degrees. So we feel pretty good across a lot of Colorado. A little chillier west when we look to the interstate west up into the high country, what you expect that colder air, a little, little harder to get when you get up into that mountain terrain, but we're going to see some of that warm air through the plains get a little bit warmer by the end of the day. You know what else is nice is all the sunshine. High pressure ridge has punched through the cloud cover. There's a lot of clouds out east and some of this white you see on the terrain that's not moving. Well, that's snow cover. So there's actually a good bit of snow right up through the Rockies, which is fantastic for our snow melt for the drought situation. And let's keep that going. So high pressure is circulating over the region. That's why we've got the cloudless sky, but it's also bringing warmer air. And the nice thing is when we track that air mass today, it's starting to warm up. It gets more established through Tuesday and it doesn't really move a whole lot Wednesday. Some of that cool influence tries to move in Wednesday, but I actually think we have to wait till Thursday and Friday before we see a little bit of a cool down. But let's step through temperatures just a little bit here today. Remember, we're heading into an afternoon where we'll have a lot of 40s. We're already there at a couple places getting near 50. Tomorrow is the big day, a high near 60 in Colorado Springs, 64 in Pueblo, and we might do a little better than that out east end of the plains. If we had a stronger wind tomorrow, I think we could boost all those numbers by a couple degrees. So it's still awesome. We're a little cooler by Thursday and Friday. We've got this little bit of a rain to snow chance Thursday in the evening through Friday morning, but I think a lot of that is going to get soaked up in the mountains to our west. I'm talking like the continental divide stuff, the big stuff good for the ski resorts in Pueblo. I see us being in the mid 60s over Tuesday and Wednesday. I've got us a little cooler as we head to Thursday and Friday, and I actually think that even though we are a little cooler at the end of the week, highs in the 50s are not bad. Just a little cloud cover that kind of gets in the way. Canyon City sunshine for days for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday through Friday. There's that little moisture chance with those temperatures. It's probably more of a rain, maybe some snow mixed in in the evening, but Woodland Park our mountains. We'd probably get a little bit more snow out of this, but it does not look like much, and we're just going to enjoy being in the 50s this upcoming weekend. Renee.